Now guys, in humanity, scoring 230, 40 or you can say 250 is a very tough and tedious job. Hello everyone, a very good afternoon and welcome to Plutus IAS. Guys, today we are going to discuss that if you have taken physics as your optional subject for UPSC, then how to score high marks in physics optional. Physics is a very scoring subject and it can guarantee your success in UPSC. So what should one do? What methods one should follow to score good marks or good percentage in physics optional? So let's see. See guys, as you all are aware that just like any other optional subject, Physics is also segregated into two portions that is paper 1 and paper 2. Both of these paper are of 250 marks each making it 500 marks in total. Okay, this is of 250 marks and this is also of 250 marks. The total comes to 500 marks. Now guys, in humanity, scoring 230, 40 or you can say 250 is a very tough and tedious job. Whereas in physics, out of 500 marks with right methodology, you can easily get 300 to 325 marks. You can score even higher, but that will require some extra amount of input from your side. But 300 to 325 is very much achievable and doable thing that you can do or even a below average student, if he works hard here, he can get these many marks. But how? So see guys, if I talk about paper 1. So basically, I'm not going to go into the detail of the syllabus, but mainly it consists of your mechanics. Okay, thermo, electro and magnetism, stats in physics, okay, and few other things, etc. The portion of paper 1 is mostly analytical. That means from here, most of the questions will be numerical based will be numericals and you will need mathematical tools to solve them 70 percent of the questions will be numericals from this portion but when i say more numericals it they won't be the questions won't be brain mongering or something like that easy numericals based on the derivation things that would be taught to you in the class is straightforward from those theoretical portions the numericals will be framed it won't be something like out of blue something that is a shock you haven't seen no let me guarantee you if you follow the proper pattern if you come to plutus ias and opt for physics optional so whatever will be taught to you in the class all the numericals in your paper will come from that portion only. Not even a single numerical will be out of our content that we provide or that we give in the classrooms. Okay. So numericals plus maths. See guys, you have got to have a basic information of maths. You got to have a bit of command in maths. If you don't have it, so no need to worry. Here we make you apt in maths as well. Maths that is essential for physics. Okay. In that maths, I'm not talking about maths as a separate subject. So mostly numericals will be asked from this portion plus 30% will be derivations. So see, in this portion, you don't have to pay much of the attention towards the theory. No. Just focus on derivations. and numericals okay if you post focus on derivations and numericals your paper one is done okay moving on 
to paper 2 which is again of 250 marks. Paper 2 comprises of quantum mechanics then you have atoms and molecules nuclear physics then solid state physics and finally electronics guys from this portion you get derivations and 20% of theory so 80% of derivation and 20% of theory you get from here numericals sometimes they ask numericals from this portion also but that's exceptional thing mostly derivation and theory so in paper 2 you have to focus on the derivation part plus theoretical part in theory see guys you don't have to write some high superfluous language you just need to know the concept of a thing and then you have to write in your own words which you can easily do okay no need to mug up anything no need to cram up no just the conceptual clarity derivation you can frame the answer on your own that's the gist of paper 1 and paper 2 getting my point now see if I talk about overall tricks for physics so see in physics as I said earlier also do not focus on <clears throat> mugging up the things rather you should focus on understanding the concepts of the things okay numerical practice you don't have to do extensive practice like solving 5000 or 10,000 of numericals just like you do in maths rather just do four to five numericals related to each topic and that you will understand in the syllabus once the syllabus is done okay once you do four or five numericals and that too i'm talking about the upper limit two three numericals are more than sufficient for numerical clarity because the simple numericals are asked mostly based on maths it's not something superfluous it's not something tough it's not something surprising okay it will be easy it won't be a shock for you let me assure you of this so guys i hope the video was helpful to you and if you join me in plutus ias so together we'll be working as a team i'll be guiding you throughout the syllabus i'll be helping you to master the concepts i'll also be helping you to do the practice of numerical extensive practice of numerical and will make you score 320 plus in physics optional thank you